Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this infinite arithmetic sequence 6, 14, 22, 30 and goes on and on. And now we are going to find the 600th term of this uh, arithmetic sequence. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now you might be wondering what is an arithmetic sequence? And here's the definition of arithmetic sequence. Let me go over pretty quick. Arithmetic sequence is also called arithmetic progression. And let's focus on this sequence. This six is our very first term. And we can see the difference between these two terms. Consecutive term is positive eight. The next two terms, the difference is positive eight as well. And once again, eight as well. And such kind of difference between consecutive terms is called common difference, which is denoted by lowercase d. And since this common difference is constant, it's same, it is consistent. So no wonder we call such kind of sequence as an arithmetic sequence. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the 600 term of this arithmetic sequence. And here's the formula that we will be using to calculate this 600 term. A sub n equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where A sub 1 is our very first term. In our case, our very first term is 6. A sub n is called the nth term. So in our case, our A of 600 is going to be this one, A sub n. A d is our common difference. In our case, our d common difference is 8. And finally, n is called the number of terms. In our case, our n equal to 600. So I'm going to write down n equal to 600. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. We want to calculate a of 600. So this a of n is going to become a of 600 equals to a of 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now our a of 1 is 6. So I'm going to replace this one by 6. Our n is 600 so i'm going to replace that one by 600 and d in our case is 8 so i'm going to replace this one by 8 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a sub 600 going to be equal to a sub 1 is 6 plus n is 600 minus 1 and d is 8 and here in this next step 600 minus 1 is going to give us 599. Let's simplify furthermore. So that is going to be 6 plus, when we multiply these one, that is going to give us 4792. When we add all these numbers, that's going to give us 4798. And that is our A sub 600. So thus our 600 term turns out to be 4798. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.